Bricks 2024 has made headline with some major decision that could disrupt the global financial system. But many people are saying, could this be the end of the IMF and the World Bank? The 24 summit hosted by Russia and Kazakhstan, many analysts have called it a game changer for good reason. This summit hosted about two dozens of nations' leaders. This summit is the largest global gathering in Russia in years since the outbreak of the Ukraine war. But this is not just about numbers. It is about the bold move BRICS is making to challenge the Western-led financial system and signal the shift in the global order. Let's dive on the success story recorded in this summit and why it matters to Putin. BRICS is no longer just an alliance of five countries. This year, the bloc expanded its membership by welcoming four new members, Egypt, Iran, Ethiopia, and the UAE as full members, with Nigeria and 12 other nations joining as partners. But why are so many nations eager to join BRICS? For many of these countries, the appeal of BRICS lies in the opportunity to diversify their economy partnership and reduce their dependency on Western powers. Recent sanction and economic measures taken against Russia and China has frightened several nations in the global south, highlighting the risks of relying solely on Western-led system. By joining BRICS, countries aim to protect themselves from economic oppression that comes with Western dominance, financial order, and strengthen ties with other emerging economy. Additionally, there is a growing sentiment among this nation that the current global structure such as the G7, the United Nations, the IMF, and the World Bank does not represent their interests anymore. BRICS offer an alternative, a platform where their voice are heard and valued. Joining BRICS, it seems as a way to exercise their independence on global stage and push for a multipolar world where emerging economy have greater representation. With this expansion, BRICS now represent more than 45% of the world population and account for over 25% of the world GDP. It is clear signal to the West that BRICS is not just growing in numbers and could consolidate its influence on the global stage. A major theme of the summit is reducing Western dominance. The sanction imposed on Russia after its 2022 invasion of Ukraine and lighted the risks of relying on the Western-led financial system like the Swiss. British countries are now exploring alternative, including currency swap for energy deals and boosting the use of national currency in bilateral trade. In the summit, the bloc introduced what is called the BRICS pay, but experts have exercised some form of skepticism about the feasibility of this policy. This focus seems to be on creating system that reduce reliance on the US dollar and mitigate the risk of sanction and economic coercion from the West. The BRICS pay is a new payment system designed to bypass the US dollar and conduct real-time transactions using local currency to allow member nations trade in local currency. By creating its financial infrastructure, BRICS aim to undercut the dollar dominance and avoid the dependency on Western control network. It is noteworthy that China already designed its own alternative to sweet and with countries like Brazil and Turkey restructuring their reserve into gold. The momentum towards financial independence is getting traction. Traditionally, oil has been priced in US dollar due to agreement with Saudi Arabia, but this could be changing. The summit has included discussion about pricing oil in alternative currency, Chinese Yuan, particularly if Saudi Arabia as a key partner in global oil markets decided to formally join the blocks, short a shift could significantly weaken the demand of the US dollar, leading to a higher borrowing cost, increasing inflation and economic repercussion for the West. Another major success story recorded in the summit is the creation of a financial institution to serve as an alternative to the IMF. British nations have long criticized the IMF for favoring wealthy Western nations and imposing political conditions on their aid package. By proposing a new financial framework, BRICS aim to better support emerging economies and create a system less influenced by Western interests. So, what does it mean to Putin, and why does it or why does it matter to Putin? For the Russian president, the summit has demonstrates that despite the Western sanction, he still has important international partners willing to transact and trade with him. In the 24 BRICS summit, marks a significant moment 
and with shaping global finance. With the launch of BigPage, the discussion on oil pricing and alternative currency and plans for a new IMF alternative, BRICS is making bold moves to challenge Western-led financial dominance. What do you think? Is BRICS on the path of creating a new financial system or a new financial order, or is this just an ambitious proposal? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you find this breakdown insightful, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe and hit the notification bell for more updates on global events.